let's just move on, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one for us to score. Okay. Um, the Jets spread plus six, according to Bavada, at Jacksonville. Boy, did they get their little heinies pounded last night. Yeah, you know, it was funny. So um, I I can't remember if that was a text with the three of us, me, you, and uh, the Wolf of Tarpon Springs, our friend Brian. Um, we were kind of going back and back and forth about that. And Brian liked the Jets. And, and one thing that I – you, one of my betting rules, and Brian is, is separate. Um, Brian, Brian liked the Jets last night? Brian liked the Jets last night. Now, Brian is big on don't bet against a home dog when you're playing a division right. opponent. Um, right, he's right. he's, he's big like on that. It. And I like that rule. But one rule for that that trumps, and this is what I said to Brian, was um, never bet against Bill Belichick when he has more time to game plan than the other coach, or at least yep. more than one week. Just don't do it. Um, his percentage is like 80 to 90% covering. It doesn't matter what the line is. And I did not like that 10-point spread, but – that's one of my rules. If Bill Belichick is off a bye week or off a Thursday night game or, you know, it, going into a Super Bowl, you just don't bet against them. Yeah, it's you a get a pretty good rule. You get you get bit one out of every 10 times. Sure, I got bit on that Philadelphia New England Super Bowl, but I I made a lot of money on those bets. I mean, it just always works. So, but anyway, yeah, the Jets Jets looked bad, but I called it. I mean, you're playing the Patriots defense, which I'm sorry, might be their the best defense that they've had ever. This defense is incredible. It's great. It's incredible. And the stat, they, they, they've showed some stat about how the Patriots are allowing eight points a game. Don't don't forget that the, the Patriots gave up like three touchdowns on special teams and on like um, offensive turnovers and in, you know, into the end zone. So they're actually, the defense is actually allowing less points than that. They're Did just, I see that the, the defense has only let up three touchdowns all season? That sounds about right. Is that not the most insane thing you ever heard? Yeah, halfway through the season. Three touchdowns. That's in, that's insanity. What, what, I heard Booger McFarland say it, and, and I ninety-one thought, possessions. I must have heard that. So they're close to probably a hundred possessions in three. It's three percent of the touch. Uh, the, the opponent's percentages, give or take a couple of percentage points there, um, or tenths of percentages points. Three percent of the possessions end up in a touchdown for the Patriots. That's, How can anybody bet against the Patriots? I don't know. Anyway, but know. we're talking about the Jets, though. So the Jets, you know, the Jets, I, I thought that they were going to have a tough game. I wasn't going to freak out. I thought that they would do well against Dallas. They did. I thought that they would do poorly against New England. They did. Okay. Um, the Jets. Uh, oh, what was the other stat? I think it's been now 15 quarters since the New York Jets have scored a touchdown against the New England Patriots on offense. Oh, well, that makes that makes sense. Anyway. Uh, who are the Jets playing again? I'm sorry. The, ja the Jags. So it's Jets plus six at Jacksonville. Jets plus six at Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville in this one. I do. Yeah. Jacksonville Jets off a short week. Jacksonville uh, ferocious defense as well, right? I mean, it's not. Yeah. Their defense still has that swag, does it not? Yeah, I mean, I, I think losing Jalen Ramsey hurts it a little bit, but Jacksonville covered fairly easily against Cincinnati this week, which is one of our pick six wins, actually, Brad. Yeah, Jacksonville, I think, like Arizona, I think Jacksonville, they're not a sexy team, but they're good against the spread, man. They're like, they're undervalued, I think, in betting circles. I'm actually going to take the Jets in this one. Six is a lot for me in this game. I think it's a close Jacksonville victory. I think Jacksonville, I wouldn't even say that Jacksonville... Um, you know, wins comfortably. I think this is going to be kind of a down to the wire thing. I personally wrote down um, Jets uh, 18, Jags 20. My computers like Jacksonville, Brad. They agree with you. Um, I'm going to take the Jets. This is more of a leap of faith thing for me. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. Um, feel free to comment if you're a Jacksonville fan and tell me why I'm an idiot. I'd love to hear it. Uh, for the, J or the New York Jets, um, I have Darnold as a sit. I have Le'Veon Bell as a play. I have Robbie Anderson as a play. I have Jamison Crowder as a play. For the Jaguars, I have Gardner Minshew as a sit. Usually I have him as a start. I have him as a sit this week. I think Fournette has a great game. I think DJ Chark has a really nice game. And there's a potential for um, uh, D.D. Westbrook to get in the end zone as well. Um, it's interesting to have two wide receivers as starts and Gardner Minshew as a sit, but, you know, so it goes sometimes. I think it's going to be low yardage, maybe two touchdowns, and then those touchdowns go to the receivers. 